I just wanted to drop this quick note to share the fact that we are writing history right now and it is extremely important that each person is proud of that message that they are writing. Uh, whether that be you are spending time relaxing, spending time with your family, spending time working on a new skill, spending time building your business, whatever it is that you're working on doing, do that and be proud of what it is that you are working on. And if you aren't proud of what you're working on, if you aren't spending this time to grow, then you need to self audit and say like, okay, I've had some time to chill, but now it's time for me to put the pedal to the metal, step up to the plate and start providing value for people in whatever area that me may be. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a business. It could just be more of a relationship. It could be you sharing and communicating more with your family. It could be you making sure you're checking in on different people, but definitely spend the time now to be doing that type of thing. Otherwise, all of this quarantine time will go by and you'll have no progress in any area of your life. This being something that everybody is experiencing, there are different problems day to day that people are running into together. So if you come up with an easier way of doing something, you come up with a way that you're able to cope with it, once you share that with the world, now more people are able to benefit from something that you've learned. You never know how many people you can impact just by sharing your message. It's important, again, because afterwards, we're gonna look back at the time and say like, okay, what actually was it that we were doing during that time? For those entrepreneurs that are out there, now you are a full-time entrepreneur. Whether you want it to be or not, this is what you're able to work on full-time, your business. Because some people are still working from home, some people do still have their jobs that they have to go to, but now you're able to put a hyper-focus on your business because majority of people's time is being spent inside of their house. Put your energy towards that, develop it, so that when we do get out of all of this, you're able to just continue to do this and continue to thrive. And it can be difficult trying to figure out what it is that you should be sharing on social media, trying to figure out what part of your stories should you be articulating uh, just realize that it's difficult for everybody it's not something where some people have it better than others it's like this is a complicated thing for everybody because it's bad news it's bad um, even energy and feels it's bad stuff that everybody's going through but different people are taking different opportunities to get through it for me one way I'm getting through it is continuing to create I enjoy making stuff, even if it's as simple as a vlog, even if it is just a post on social media, I enjoy being able to put my thoughts and my experiences out there into the world and sharing it with people because I have gotten feedback and heard that it does impact people's lives and that does make me want to do more of it. Just finished up another content consulting call. It has been really cool just to be able to talk to people on a real personal level. Again, everybody is going through this right now. And so I know that I have experienced and created some really cool solutions to how people can be posting content consistently. And again, this is also the only way I know how I can give back right now outside of it just being financial. We've helped out some kids food basket and then also some local businesses GoFundMe pages. But the other thing that I know that I myself can be doing and also the company Carbon Stories to help people in the community is giving out value that we provide normally for a charge for free to help people get through this time right now. So it's been really cool. And also I enjoy being able to talk through with people uh, what they can be posting about. So I've enjoyed it a lot.
also want to answer any questions you've got in regards to how you should be posting. But again, to start out, what would you say some of those areas of value that JoJo's House of Beauty have uh, for people? Sorry, good, how are you? No worries, thanks. Now virus that is as deadly and contagious on a global pandemic, no one's ever seen anything like this. And the more people that do their part, the more people that will um, survive COVID-19. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much. Call me anytime. Thank you. That was the governor of Michigan that I had to take some photos of today. So if anybody's out there watching, wondering whether or not Carbon Stories is an essential business, we are considered essential. We are under media. And so that is needed in order for things to be documented. It was really cool uh, just to be able to capture some of that stuff in this really important time. I'm going to try to document as much as I can. As much as I thought I was gonna have a whole bunch of time during this time, I actually don't because there are some things that I still have to work on. Uh, everyone else at Carbon is working from home. Some people still stop by the office to have to pick up equipment, that type of thing. But uh, for the most part, I'm just quarantined at Carbon Stories. Definitely continue to follow along, watch some of my older vlogs if you do not know the story of Carbon. But thank you all for watching.